Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. So we started. Hello? I guess. No, not I guess. You have to be happy about it. Hello? I have to be happy about I guess? No, look. So we got here. What was it? What? 30 minutes ago. And we ate burritos and that's great. <clears throat> Going to give a speech. <laughs> you know what happens when you eat burritos? You get real sluggish afterwards. No, I don't. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Because you're human. I don't get sluggish after I eat a fucking burrito. What Who eats a burrito? Oh, so you do, what do you do after you eat a burrito? I get... You sit down. I get like there ecstatic. You don't, yeah, but in your head, but then you sit down. Nobody eats a burrito and like plays ball is what I'm saying. Well, that would be a mistake. There yeah. we go. So you might argue that eating a burrito makes you lethargic. Yes, got out of that one. So what happens is you you eat a burrito and then you start slowing down. It's just what happens. The, blo- the, dr- the blood draws to your tummy and helps you digest. You know why I think that happens to you? Because you science. don't eat, you wait too long to eat. And so when you wait too long to eat and then you eat a lot, your your body crashes. Yes. No, that's not necessarily true. Sometimes I eat. As a matter of fact, I ate about two hours ago. So you I did? didn't wait too long to eat. Yeah, I remember I ate squirrel. I told you I ate squirrel. You're eating too much. Okay, well, look, I'm eating fine. This isn't what this is about. But what I'm saying is you eat a burrito and then you don't play ball, right? That's so, right. So we need to be but ball We're player. not playing ball. No, I know, but we need to bring the ball player energy to this podcast to separate right. it from the all other right, fucking right. bullshit Sounds podcast. Sounds like you're doing good though, so. I, I'm holding my weight because I know I'm on the fucking upswing of the burrito thing. Oh, you're holding your weight all right. I had fucking two meals in two hours. All right. So that's good, right? Oh, so mad. <laughs> so mad. Because, because you got to eat the burrito and then you got to go, 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 go. But what you were doing is like, well, let's leave the air on. Let's leave the place cool. You went to the bathroom two times and you weren't even using the bathroom. Fucking... Oops, right? <laughs> you weren't even using the bathroom. You were just in there like toodling and shit. It was hot in here. Insecure Nelly. It was, it was hot in here. Okay. It was hot in. Mm. Why is it so insecure to swallow in between words? An audible swallow. Because you're not fucking confident in what you're saying. That's not necessarily you're true, though, which is why I asked the question, yes. So that's a, that's a yes for me. No. And it's why I asked the question. Because it's, it's implied in the question that isn't necessarily an insecure thing to do to swallow. If you are... Um, if you are saying something very definitive, you don't swallow because you have the next word to say immediately. If you're talking and you're not really um, sure what you're going to say, you end up swallowing and people are like, that guy's a bitch. I'm not doing anything he said. That's why all the greats in history never fucking swallowed in between words. Martin Luther King Jr. I know I shouldn't say How can Hitler's you the only that? guy. Next guy who came to mind. I know that's bad, but How, like I'm just saying yeah, guys who talk a lot that have a fucking terrible. I know, but, but they had a, a lot of people behind them is all I'm saying. Because okay. they didn't swallow. The second anyone's like, uh, this is why fucking Joe Biden loses people. You're saying- And I'm not political. Influence. You're not saying whether they're good or bad. No, I'm not good or bad. I'm saying influence. All uh-huh. right. Strength. Cult Pro- leaders, they don't- Projecting strength. Yeah. That's why all the preachers talk like this. Ah. So you think the reason they project strength is because they don't swallow? 100%. And that's literally the only reason. Nope. Well, if you would like to follow me into the road- of it. everyone <laughs> walks out the door everyone i would like to see that though i would like to see that though uh, well so would i but you wouldn't like to follow that guy no well i wouldn't follow any preacher or cult leader which is what you seem to be doing right there but what i'm saying is so we need to have the upswing of the burrito right and if we have the upswing of the burrito then we start before we let the lethargic shit before the blood all gets drawn to the tummy so now we're activated and we're here and we're our, we're in the ball player energy I'm bringing s- it to the podcast. I'm feeling a, honestly a little bit sluggish right now. That's why, because we fucking started too late. It could be. So fu- so that's what I'm saying. And you were just like dilly-dallying. And when we had the fucking upswing, and now I've got to carry the upswing, but I'm doing it mentally, not physically, because we started too late because I know about the whole fucking upswing. <clears throat> it was fucking hot. <laughs> so we wanted it to fucking cool down because the AC's loud as fucking shit in here. I understand, but... What we have to do is make sure it's it's like the lesser of two evils, right? And it's better to have a better podcast and be sweating under the pits oh, than I it see. is to. I see. I see. Right? Wrong, but I do no, see. That's what not you're wrong. Saying. I we need agree. to be hot. We need because what what who, do you sweat when you play ball? Yes. 
See, you've developed this yes, thing dude. now where you clap for yourself. Thank you. And I don't like that at all. I know I developed it because that's what I do when I, because there's no audience here. You know, I do a lot of stuff. I do stand up, right? I do know. By that, the way, yeah. speaking of stand up, nope. Phoenix, Arizona, April 30th. I will be there. Go to chrislea.com to get tickets. I added a second show and all the fucking good seats are full, but go in and get that shit. It's going to be there April 30th on Saturday. So I'll see you guys there. And uh, yeah, so that's it. No, that's rude. That's very rude. But you, you won't be there. You won't be now in Arizona. Now I'm sluggish as fucking no. hell. After but so, you so yourself. you asked one thing before the podcast, which would have been a great thing to ask during the podcast. But we started too late. But we can go back. What to did it. I ask? You said, "Why do I wear sunglasses?" Why do you wear sunglasses? Sometimes I think I'm ugly. Well, you're not always right, but I can't nope. argue with you on that. Sometimes one. I think I'm ugly, and I started with the sunglasses on because sometimes my eyes look bad. <laughs> but he's going to admit it dude he's going to admit it because what because people like what's real what percent of the time do you think that you look ugly enough <laughs> okay well i mean i think well I, okay that's a great question actually thank you um i have my angles right see you said two answers neither of which were actual answers to my question you said I, enough and then you said i have my angles the question was, what percent of the time do you think you're ugly? You tell me, dude. Look I want this. a percent. Okay. Well, a hundred percent then? Um, no, I, I, um, I look, I, I don't, ugly is a stretch, but I look bird-like sometimes. I look gaunt. I look fucking a new color. You off, look translucent. Off death. Yeah, you look really white. You, are you never outside? Dude, I was outside earlier and it's like, the, 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 it didn't even take, dude. I was outside for a while. I was doing push-ups. You know me, right? Yeah, I guess. Because I was doing push-ups and sit-ups and doing planks. You know me, right? Outside, yeah. Yeah, and so I was outside and I was fucking doing all that stuff. I was even doing jumps and dips out of the pool. You know me, right? I do know you. Stop yeah, asking so, me if I know you. Right, so I was bulked up. You know what's interesting about me? But the I, fucking, the rays bounced off me. Poetry. I can, <laughs> I can be, uh, remember the guy? Uh, <laughs> uh, I can be outside for five minutes mm -hmm. and I get a 10. Well, you know, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fair. That's good. Not trying to rub it in or anything, but no, I know. But you I always have in. had that fucking dark shit, yeah. like that Italian, that fucking you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, I, I like mean, that. I love it about about myself. Yeah, I know. I, I don't like my color, but it's fine, dude. But also on the king of the sting in the wing, they fucking have that bright light on me and shit, so I look even worse. I think they're fucking jealous, dude. Do you think it's like a frame job? No, because they fucking it was like that already from jump. Okay. Whatever. So you talked yourself out of it. I know. I yeah, it. yeah. It was a quick one. So, um, all right. So, so we, you want to just jump right into it, dude? This is life. You can't really say that it's been like ten minutes. You can't say want to jump right. So into you guys want to when it's already been like a long time. Let's jump right in. Okay, let's jump no, right but, in. But but um, let's Joe Biden. We could do that. All let's right, let's Joe Biden. Let's jump right in. Let's Joe Biden. Person definitely has the best chance. Shut the fuck up. Wow, What's nice. What's going on? There's boys? no person there. <laughs> it my was buddy his asshole. over here, my <laughs> roommate, has a big problem where he just drinks and just gets blacked out yeah. every single week. Yeah. Seems like you're on your it's way. It's turning yeah. into a week thing. So many so, chairs. So many chairs. I just was wow. making this video to see if you guys have any advice on how I should handle it because I'm going to be living with this idiot for the next two years. Oh, 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 my God, that was an dude. Incredible sign off. Oh, my God. Signed on and off with yeah, that. that the, the last one, though, was wild. So just, violent, you know? What if he did it 25 times? He was going to break his computer screen, you know? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, too many chairs. Okay. So many chairs in the back there. Yeah. Second yeah. of all, was so weird to hear the guy but not see the guy. That was like, I would have said, like, he's hearing voices, but we heard it. Right. We heard it. Uh, guy is absolutely high as fuck he while he's so doing it. Fucking high. I mean, his eyes were just like this. He was on up. something. I don't even know if he was high. Um. Yeah. He was on. He was on something. Yeah. And so uh, he's asking how to deal with his roommate who's always blacked out. No, he's just. He, he, were you listening or? I did. I tried. Okay. I listened. He said his roommate's always he blacked out. He's, he's about to live with gets this so drunk on weekends that he mm -hmm. blacks out, and he said it's turning into a weekday thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that is what I said. No, it's not. I said, you, you had to deal with his roommate when he blacks out. Okay. Yes, got out of that <laughs> one, dude. Um, no, so I think that honestly, this dude uh, needs to just for real either get a, um, you know, if he if he's not strong enough to lift him, fucking power up with your squats, do deadlifts, you know, f some fucking farmer's carries. And whenever the guy passes out, just fucking pick him up and put him in the closet. Put him in the closet. Or if you don't want to do that, if you're a lazy piece of shit, which 
yar, right? Because look at your eyes are half masked. Okay. Okay. Which yar, then just get a fucking big blanket. Get a big fucking weighted blanket and put it over him wherever he fucking blacks out and falls down. And when he wakes up, he'll be sweaty as shit. And when he gets up, he'll be pushing that weighted blanket off him and he'll be like, oh man, what the fuck? And I and then you say, and then you say, well, you're fucking sweaty? And he'd be like, yeah. And then you say, well, that's what you get. You're sweaty because you fucking blacked out and I put a weighted blanket on you. It's like little shit you got to do to ruin their so lives. This, Not big things. This is the first go-to thing that you think this guy should do. You think the first thing he should do are those two things that you said? I mean, after talk to him, but it, okay, yeah. so so okay, so then because talk I to think him, that, I but because I think that he probably already did, and also that kind of considered that's considered talking to him. The guy was in the room and he was making a video for us. We didn't see him though. I'm a little suspicious because we didn't see him. We heard it. We did hear it, but he looks behind him and there's nobody there. Yeah, but it was he was just below him on the couch. I think yeah, like he was, was sitting on top, or he of was him? just hiding behind his ass like this. Right. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I think, well, first of all, he specifically said two years of this. So It's been clearly, two years? No, two years. It's going to be two years. He's it locked into some kind of lease. Oh, wow. Period. Okay. Or maybe it's college. I don't, I don't know. Get away to blanket. The, the, you got to, for your own sake, I mean, yes, it's obviously for his well-being and his health, but for your own sake, you got to just fucking talk to him. Say, can we at least try pulling back on the drinking? Because the truth is nobody wants to fucking black out. It's worse than a hangover, dude. There's nothing. I don't drink anymore. But when I used to, I never really had blackouts, but I did like once or twice. And it is fucking truly scary. You lose time? You wake up and you don't remember what the fuck happened. Whoa. And people will tell you, you did this, you did that, you did that. And you're just like, I have to believe you. Yeah. Because all of you are saying this, but I have no recollection of that. Yeah. And it sounds memorable. It's always like a fucking dumb thing. Wow. It's not like, you know. You have so much fun with this. It's, 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 that's actually a dark first thought. To no, 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 it's not dark. It's fun. You put a fucking, you, you, he falls asleep, blacks out. Yeah. And then you get, I mean, how long do they, people black out for? Sometimes hours, right? Well, no, I think you have a misunderstanding of what blackout means. Yeah. You, you, you drink so much and then you pass out and then you wake up the next morning and it's like you've blacked out your memory. There's no memory of it. Great. Right? Right. Okay. So when you're chilling, you're not passed out, you're blacked out, right? You're in the future, you will, yeah, I guess you will that, have forgotten, yeah, right, right? Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then you just convince the drunk person who's blacked out that don't know they're blacked out mm -hmm. to do a bunch of crazy shit. Like, let's go to the costume store. You get fucking samurai outfits. Okay. You get maybe cat ears or some shit. Okay. And then you have a great time at home. You set up decorations. Like you bring foliage inside and then he falls asleep and you wait in your samurai outfit. And then when he wakes up and he goes, what the fuck happened? You say, I don't know, man. Yeah. And then you try to figure it out with him. Like it's a fun little fucking dinner party. That would be fun as shit. Because here's the thing. If a guy's going to be having that much fun and I'm going to have to deal with it on the raw end of it, you better believe I'm going to be making the best of it. Right? So I'm the roommate. And it's like, this guy always blacks out. It sucks. I'm going to be making the best of it. I'm going to turn lemon into lemonade. And that's honestly what he should do. Okay. The, to me, that doesn't sound that fun, the costume store thing, but I get- As I a person who blacked out. Get what you're saying. I get what you, you're saying. You don't have to do the samurai thing. You can do a bunch uh, of stuff. Right, exactly. Right. But I think- So pick what? Based on what I'm getting is that this guy's not gonna- This guy himself probably likes to party considering the state of his eyes For sure, in the video. and his hair. So I think maybe just say, look, I'm here to help you maybe find a sweet spot of getting wasted and having fun, but checking out- like stopping before you pass the threshold of blacking out. Like almost make it a game. Like let's test where the line of blacking out is. I don't think so. I, that's not fun though. That it's is not, not fun. supposed to be fun. You the guy's got a fucking make a drinking game problem. It. Right. But you're trying to make it fun for the guy. Like mm. make it a challenge. But make he's it not four. It's like Calvin. Oh, when I told Calvin, oh, Calvin, we got to clean up. Who can do it the fastest? And it is like, like that. Oh, I trick him. It's an adult version. But of Calvin's that. not drunk. He's going to remember this. Okay. Well, it's not a literal one-to-one. -one. Samurai outfits and a weighted blanket. Okay. Those yes, are your, we figured it out. Those All are right. the two different pieces of advice. Okay. I suggest you try mine. Yeah, if you don't want to have any fun and be boring about it's it. It's a so, free country. So let's see what's next. Hey, Matt and Chris. Huge fan of both of your podcasts. Max Headroom. Uh, I just wanted to come on here a little anonymously cool. to ask for some advice. Cool. So I know that you guys are super close siblings. Cool. I am also pretty close to my siblings. My sister is 25. I'm 28. My brother's 35. So our thing is that we all currently are living at my parents' house. My sister just graduated college. Um, I'm actually moving out June 1st. And my brother 
has been here for a while. So my issue is with him. He is 35. He has no aspirations of moving out of the house and he doesn't have a full-time job, even though he has two degrees. Um, Jeez. My issue is that the last couple months, I've really seen who he is as a person and I am not a fan. Oh. <laughs> he sure. is disrespectful to my parents even though he's living under their roof yeah. he's incredibly cheap like he'll venmo request me for three dollars but if i put everyone's meal on my card he won't pay me back because he assumes that since i have a full-time job i'm loaded oh my god <laughs> and just little things like if my sister and i go out and he wasn't invited he'll straight up ask me well why didn't you invite me and i'll say oh well you would you wouldn't even have wanted to do it and he says Oh, I would have at least liked to be invited so that I could say no thank you. Right. Like it's I think hard. it's the most respectful thing to not invite somebody to something that they don't want to yeah, do, am I, I right? Yeah, fully agree. Yeah. But anyways, my I'm like struggling this. with how to move forward with this relationship. Um, because it's just really tense in the household. Do I have a conversation where both of us are going to be uncomfortable. I know for a fact he's going to play victim, take everything personally, yeah, and then is. potentially kind of ruin our relationship. Because I do love him. I just mm -hmm. can't stand him. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. we were friends, we would not be friends. Right. <laughs> or do I just ignore it because there's a foreseeable end to us living together and just deal with it? Or, you know, any other solutions? Because it's just super tense, super stressful on me. And at the same time, I think he's kind of tone deaf mm. to the whole situation because he just, like I said, plays victim and doesn't see how he could do any wrong ever. Um, thank you for any and all advice. Congratulations on this amazing new podcast. Mm. Can't wait to see uh, where it goes. All uh, right. Love you guys so much. Thanks. Thanks. Love I mean, you too. So long, but so long. Fuck, what is this? Let me go. Soft white underbelly? The, the, okay, go ahead. What's soft white underbelly? Oh, it's that, that shit you thing love? where they yeah. just talk for an hour yeah. and a half. Um, <clears throat> so first and foremost, and there's a lot to get into there, but the no first thing that jumps out at me, what? No shit, it was an hour and a half. <laughs> is you, if the two options that, as far as you see them, are have a conversation with them and it'll be uncomfortable, or don't and like sort of like let it go and see how it happens. If you do option two, that shit is gonna fester in a way that you have no idea what the future will bring like yep. the what happens when we sit on shit like that yep when we repress shit like that is that it comes out in ways that you a don't foresee but b in ways that you really don't want to behave and i think that even though option one is so uh unappealing and going to be so uncomfortable yeah you fucking have to do that because repressing it and sitting on it is just going to make shit worse in ways that will surprise you and ways that are actually worse than even just living with them as it is also spin moves help that you know that okay i want to talk to you about something this okay is considered an intervention i don't want the eye stop advice. giving spin move as your first piece of advice no it's not but it can things. help if you got to fucking tell something some somebody something very serious about something no you it just helps go in, do a spin move somebody likes cross though it helps if you're barry sanders's coach no okay but and that's it no start with your legs cross though is what i'm saying and with your back to the person and then turn around and when you fucking your legs even out and you spin around go not paying you the three bucks and that fucking helps dude that can help and be like, and furthermore because you're already in a role but anyway Here's what I think, okay? First of all, she's right. It's respectful for her not to ask. The, you're dealing with two different people that want two different things and have two different ideas about uh, who each other even are, right? So, like, she she thinks it's respectful to not ask him to do a thing that he wouldn't go. Like, I wouldn't invite you to go to the fucking opera, right? I would like to go to the opera. You know what I'm saying, though? And that obviously, don't say that then. No, but that was a bad example. Okay, but you so know what I had to so I wouldn't invite you to the whole world's going to fucking see this. I don't want the whole world thinking I don't want to go to the fucking opera. Right, so I, I do. I, and when I said opera, I was like, this fucking weirdo is going to want to go to the well, fucking opera. Well, you shouldn't opera, have right? said it then. Know me better. No, but I know, but you'd want to go to the Italian opera? Yeah. You don't know what even what well, they're saying. And you now I there. don't need to. No, dude, they have okay. the fucking subtitles. Anyway, can I go Okay, ahead. so um so they have subtitles in an opera, it's live. They, they know. Got a, a fat fucking guy come out with tails on just with the cards of, of what people There's are saying. There's a big screen I fucked your wife like this. On top. <laughs> Not in the opera, you know. There's a big <laughs> screen on top. <laughs> And as dude, they sing, it's, it's like karaoke. It's like it becomes goes from white to blue. That's bullshit. No, it's not. No, I, I'm saying it sucks that that's like that. 
Maybe. Yeah, it does, dude. You need a fat fucking Italian greasy fuck up just walking by being like, I stole your tomatoes. That's what they're singing about. Wow, the worst song ever. The worst song ever. Now you're bullshitting. You know you'd want to go see an opera about an Italian guy stealing tomatoes. Yeah, I mean, I Yeah, would, you yeah. would, dude. Yeah. Okay, so what was the fucking thing about? You, we were going to okay, say so, it. Okay, so um, I would, I, hey, Matt, let's go work out. I would never invite you to go work out. Correct. That's you're a lazy see, piece of shit. No. Yes, dude, right? You're a lazy piece of shit. And you want to fucking watch the opera, okay? Because it involves sitting down. Anyway. I don't want to watch the opera. I want to go to the opera. Okay, so so anyway, it is respectful to not do that. Like one time, remember you and Chris were on my text chain with you guys talking about game night. And I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Mm. And then you guys said, oh, we have a game night. And I said, how long has it been going on? Mm. And you said two years. Mm. And I didn't know about it for two years and you never invited me. And that was when I realized that you guys were my closest friends ever. Deeper. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, oh, that's okay. great. Yeah, right, right, right. Because right. you guys know I wouldn't come to a fucking shitty bullshit game night. You would never, yeah. Right. So I thank you for that. What did I do? I said, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you know who I am. Because one time I sat in a coffee shop every single day. And there was a guy who was there who was a stuntman. He looked like a ferret. And he was there every single day. And we were talking every day. We knew each other. This was like for a year. And then one time he handed me a book and said, you should really check this out. And it was a book on Buddhism. You don't know me. Dude, you don't know me at all. Was he like evangelized? Like no, he wasn't even a religious guy. He was like, you know, I'm just a stunt man, but you should check this book out. You haven't been listening to me at all. You don't know me. That's disrespectful, right? So that's what you're saying. So that's good. Okay. But here's the deal, though. It's never going to change unless you bring it up. It just won't. It won't change unless you bring it up. But here's yeah. the deal. You bring it up 99% of the time. It's just going to lead to a rift anyway. Yeah. It's going to lead to a rift anyway. The guy has two degrees, but it's really hard. And the the pandemic and everything with how tight money is and the coronavirus, it fucked everybody up, dude. Dude, it'll never it not amaze up. me how the smartest people, book smartest people, yeah. have the, are the most tactless, yeah. disrespectful, clueless motherfuckers out in the world. Yeah. It's common. It's fucking yeah. common. Yeah. Dude. And 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 uh, and I have both book smarts and real smarts. And you don't. You absolutely don't. Uh, and so so the point is, it fucked people up. I mean, we we, yes. we we've all we all have good friends that all of a sudden now just because of fucking the, of the coronavirus, they think Joe Biden is a hologram. Like literally, that you could see the trajectory. It was like, oh well, fucking okay, well, oh mass or this or that. Oh, yeah, fine. Then Joe Biden's a hologram. Like it takes fucking eight or nine months. Yeah. But you go from wear this mask to Joe Biden is a hologram yeah. in fucking nine months. You can do that, dude. Yeah. Right? It happened. It did happen, it happened. to a bunch of people. A people, bunch of people, people that we all know. People we know. Oh, yeah. So, and and that's fine if you want to believe that. But, it, but you, you know, it, the uh, pandemic and the uh, and everything has affected people in such weird ways that maybe it's just best to fucking move out yourself. Do you well, know what I'm talking about? Sure. To if the that's lady. an option, then I would actually recommend that because- you don't want to live with this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. This guy sounds problematic on a number of levels. Yeah, he sure that does. You'd rather not deal with. That being said, if if the only options are the two options she laid out, mm -hmm. you got to talk. Yeah, to him. you got to fucking talk to him. I have a third option: try and move out yourself. But that's my third option. No spin move. You don't need to do a spin move. If you're not going to see him. You could do spin move on moving day. You could do a spin move out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Fixing the world one fucking problem but, at a time. But talk to him. Yeah, talk to him. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Hi, Chris and Matt. So I'm 23 years old and I'm uh, as I'm growing, I'm trying to identify ways in which uh, I can be less of a, of a sucky person in general. So one hmm. thing, one flaw that I've been able to identify uh, within myself is that um, oftentimes, you know, I, I just disagree with people just for the sake of being different. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I hate that because I know that it does make sense. And... Uh, that is not how it should be. I mean, being neutral is much better than just disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing because that's really not helping anyone, right? Mm. So, I, and I feel that you guys do a great job with that because uh, through your podcast or comedy or whatever form that is, you guys do a great job at being uh, not disagreeing just for the sake of disagreeing, right? So, uh, how would you suggest uh, that, you know, I go about stepping out of this space that I'm in and just um, being someone who is not, uh, you know, a sucky person. Okay, first of all, we need more people like that in the world. That is a fucking, that guy's 23 and realizing a major fucking flaw 
and wanting to change it, that is a bravissimo oh, to this guy. I can't wait to talk. Well, you're but talking. No, go ahead. No, but you're talking. I cannot wait to talk, but go ahead. I think you can wait to talk and you're, <laughs> and you're buying time because okay. the floor is fucking yours. Go ahead. Go. No, no, no. I want you to go. Okay. Well, because I got the capper, baby. Oh, boy. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, oh, dude. What I'm going to say is so fucking unreal. Go he, ahead. He's, he's saying he doesn't want to be a contrarian for the sake of it, even though he is. I mean, the advice is to just fucking follow through on what you've already realized about yourself. You've done such a good job. People are so fucking unaware of themselves. First of all, second of all, especially when it comes to their own flaws. And dude, you've inspired me. Whatever. I don't think he said his name, but I'm very pleased to see there's a 23 year old man in the world being like, I suck and I want to fucking change this way that I suck. Uh, as far as how, just keep recognizing it and realizing, it. okay, fucking go. You're Can't, pissing me dude, off. No, dude. no, 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 no. I. <laughs> Jesus, dude. No, I hear you. I don't mean to piss. I don't mean to piss you off. Well, it's too late. Okay, but here's the thing, dude. First of all, wearing the most video game shirt in the world, dude. It had a camera, a palm tree, and a fucking panda on it for no reason. You can get that after you get forty coins. But, <laughs> dude. Okay, you disagree with people for no reason. So somebody will say something and then you will just disagree with them for no reason. You're identifying that as shitty, okay? People come up and they say, I like apples. And you may like apples, but you go, you know what though? Apples, they aren't that good if they're not ripe and this and that, plus which apples do you like? Yeah. And also, have you ever tried an orange? Now that's shitty, you're realizing it. But what you don't realize you're doing is saying something and then checking yourself and being contrary to yourself. Mm. E Tyler Durden, dude. This is Fight Club. Are you doing what you do to out of the people to yourself? He's keeping it fair. Get a grip, dude. You're no. living in a fucking, you're living in your own world. Stop what you're doing to yourself first and then do it to other people. He gets the psyche. Oh my God. But dude, it's unbelievable. The guy's doing it to himself, dude. But yeah okay yeah in a way in a way yeah don't show me the back of your head it's so fucking disrespectful tyler Durden. took a whole minute <laughs> took a whole fucking minute and got so sweaty you know i'm so sweaty yeah for dude. sure for sure uh <laughs> I still think bravo to this guy. He might be like overthinking it and I get that. I can fucking, you know what? I fully identify with this motherfucker. I have experienced all of the things that he's saying. What I haven't experienced is that the entire time he couldn't think of the fucking word, which is contrary. And he kept just saying sucky person. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 23 and I'm showing. Yeah, yeah, for real. But, but I gotta say still <laughs> bravissimo to this motherfucker. Because it's true. Honestly, also, those people do suck. Now, here's the thing, though, and I feel strongly about this because I've been told that I've been called a contrarian in, in my life. It, just because you have strong opinions about shit that don't align with the person you're talking to doesn't make you a contrarian. So that's number one. You might, you can naturally be disagreeing with a lot of people, but just because you're opinionated doesn't mean that you're a contrarian or as you would say, sucky person. That being said, if you actually are saying things you don't think just to disagree with people, you're right in that that is one of the most annoying fucking things oh, yeah. that people do. It's horrible. So just, it's good. That, don't overkill it with an over-awareness. You're on the right track already. It sounds like you'll fucking get there. You're still really young. I think you're doing it right already. He recognized it. That's fine. I mean, you basically got the point where you shot yourself in the head and you realize you're two people. Yeah, Tyler Durden, at least he recognized he's Tyler Durden. You yeah, know what dude. I mean? You yeah. hear that song at the end, fucking stop. Yeah. Ooh, buildings fucking oh. blowing up. Ooh, you know that song, dude? You good? Yeah, it's a good oh, song, good. Right? I love that song, actually. Yeah, what is it? Pi pi uh, it's the Pyros? Pixies, isn't it? Pixos? Yeah, the Pixos. Yeah. <laughs> the, 
the fucking Pixos. Uh, yeah, I, I do love a that good song. rendition of it though. The Pixos? Yeah, yeah, they're good at it. Yeah. All right, well, that's good. You're Tyler Durden. Um, he did good, that guy. Okay. Chris and Matt is the written one. Chris and Matt, I had been seeing this guy for the past year. We got along great. He checked off all the boxes and we met each other's families. All was going well, or so I thought, up until recently when he told me he'd, quote, like to put things on pause for a while so he could, quote, think about some things and figure things out, end quote. We haven't spoken since then and I've given him his space, but I've never been told that before, so I'm unsure how to look at this situation. Should I see this as a breakup and move on? Chris, you want to take this one first? Yeah. You broke up. Yeah, it sucks. Here's the thing that sucks. Can you put it back up? The guy's a bitch, though. The guy yeah. is a fucking little wussy man, yeah. wussy boy, who mm -hmm. you don't want to be with anyway. That's Dude, true. he can't even just say, mm -hmm. I don't think this is working out. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to think about some things and figure things out. Mm -hmm. This is bullshit because it sounds like he's already done that and not letting you in on the yes. fact that he has done that. Yes. He's like disallowing you from being where he's at. He's not up front. He's fucking... This is this is a weak, the weak, weak, weak thing to do, and this is not a, a, a guy you want to be with. Yeah. I think. yeah, no, he's being a bitch about it. He wants to make sure that he can get over you before you can get over him. Because when he's over you, then you start dating other people, and you're out of that zone for of taking space. And he won't feel bad about you fucking doing the horizontal mambo with some other guy, right? Yeah, maybe that. Or he's just afraid That's what I to would tell do. you what he actually fucking thinks. And that is almost as annoying as when he opened the fucking can just I know, now. dude. Marco you know? fucking opened the fucking thing. You know, it was so loud. Right when I was driving the point. Yeah, you, that was a bad time to do bad it. And I get, mad at him. I get mad at him a lot for it's that. It's a bad but, time to do it. But dude, so the point is, yeah, the guy is either a pussy or a pussy, right? And in one way, he's either a pussy of not telling you because he's afraid of what you'll think, or he doesn't want you to date other guys while he goes out and fucking doinks other chicks and can do what he wants and play the field and then maybe get someone else to help him mend his broken heart while you are sitting at home fucking because you're this is what this happens, though. This yeah, happens. You know what sucks. might be good, though? Just go do the fucking. Yeah, I think he did break up with you, but I think you should call him out on it in a way that's like. Mm -mm. Why can't you just say no? It's over. Yeah, dude. No. Yeah, it's over anyway. She I might know. as well point out how and help him out in the future, dude. He shouldn't be doing this to people. If you're gonna break up with somebody, fucking break up with them. Yeah, but you just fucking do. You do what you do anyway, and you don't even fucking deal with them anymore. He's done. He's done for you. Well, He's that I, yeah. I mean, yeah. sure. Do sure, what sure. you're gonna do. Sure. Go fucking for real. Suck some I, dicks and lay 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 flat. I will say though, I'm sorry that you had to it go does through suck. This. this sucks. Yeah, it does suck. But it's but, it, but and it, it's also a good thing. Because he's helping you figure out well, that you he, don't want to be... And so are we. We're helping you move on. You got to move on and fucking lay flat for some dudes. He did you a favor. Yep. That sounds like boring sex, though. What if she wants to get up and get crazy? Boring sex is the best sex. Well, not... The word boring is in boring sex. How could it be good if it's boring? Okay, because you can literally do what you want in your mind if it's boring. You can't if all this fucking bells and whistles are going. Like, this is what people say, like, tie me well, up. How about... Or, like, whip me. How it's about like, instead of doing what you want in your mind, mm -hmm. you do what you want period are books better than movies are books better a lot than of people movies? say books are better than movies it depends because you make on the up book the and the movie right but i'm saying well okay but if the book was first the book is better most not of the always time. the godfather is a great example of that being eh, wrong okay that's name another eh, uh the book wait Batman which Returns one is it was a good book they wrote that after <laughs> the movie though um all right so i'm saying like i like to when i like to do when I like to have sex, uh -huh. no music. Okay. Right? Because I like to do the, I like to feel what's in my head, much like driving. I drive to no music. Okay. Right? I want to feel what I feel. Okay. 4.30 in the daytime, doing the horizontal mambo with, you know, my fiance. We have a good time. Okay. No extra shit. You know what I mean? Lingerie's for the birds. It's just me. It's just Adam that and I Eve actually agree shit. with. Yeah, Adam and Eve. That's like a made-up capitalist yep. thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is even. Yeah. Lingerie. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, anyway, that guy fucking sucks. He did you a favor, even though he didn't mean to. So he doesn't get credit for that. But take it and run with it. Fuck that guy. Date somebody who, when he breaks up with you, let's hope he doesn't. But when he does, he has the fucking courage to just be like, you know what? I don't think this is working out. Yeah. It's so. It's not even that fucking hard. I, that, fuck hard. that guy. Fuck that guy. It's hard. I it get is, it. It is, but then it's over. 
Yeah, but it's then better than drawing bad. it out like this. And then you got to see your fucking doink and other dudes and shit. Pictures of like store, you know, some somebody's on her story and it's like a guy's arm, and you're like, who's that? Why you don't know? you just not follow her then? Because he's who he is. He's gonna. Well, fuck him. We're not worried about him. We're you're worried a about hardcore, her, dude. I'm just saying. We're worried about her. All right. Okay. Hey guys, everybody knows it's okay to have a different colorways in shoes, but is it okay to have different colorways in clothes? Because in Norway, it's always cold, so don't mind drugs. Nice. So I got this gray one, I got a black one, okay. and just in case, I got a brand new of the black one. Wow. Um, so different colorways in clothes, is it okay? Or do you look like you always wearing the same clothes all the time? Thank you, guys. Wow, that guy's fucking cute as shit. Clear up the, clear up what he was asking because so, I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, colorways is like different colors of different uh, of the same shit. Like if I have these shoes, I have the gold colorway and also a different colorway. Why is it? Why are you saying colorway? It's stupid as fuck. It should just be different color. It's the term. But when it comes to like clothing and shit, it's like colorway. So it's not a brand. No. Okay. So I have this in the red colorway yeah. and yeah. also the green colorway and also the yellow colorway. It's from ABC. It's from. Advisory board crystal. Oh, I'm not liking this. I don't like it either. But, okay. but when I but learned okay. it, I, I was annoying, and then I and then it kind of was like, okay, so this is what you got to do because it's the one thing where it's like, well, are you gonna not say it? I got the different colors of this, then you just sound like a fucking idiot or a contrarian or a sucky person, or a sucky person, right? Yeah. And so it's like you just got to fucking if you can't beat them, join them. It's one of those things. Okay. So anyway, what he's saying is a lot of people have different color shoes. You know me, I come in with the fucking yellow shits, and then the next day I'll come in with the same shits but the red shits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's a colorway. So what? What he's asking is, is okay. What, first of all, why is everybody in this fucking episode dressing like a goddamn video game? But he's know. got the gray shirt mm -hmm. with the camouflage, and then he's got the same shirt in black with the camouflage. Mm -hmm. Is that okay to do with everything besides shoes is what he's asking. Okay. Right. Yeah. I got and it. of course, the whole thing is do what you want to do, but he's going to get made fun of. People are going to be like, didn't you wear that yesterday? You're going to have to be like, no, I actually wore the fucking, the other one's more gray. Okay. And that's annoying. But I think also... The whole point is it doesn't matter because you're in Norway. You know what I mean? If you're in Norway, you can kind of wear whatever you want. You ever seen a Norwegian out on the streets, dude? How you ever meet a Norwegian? They don't have fucking signs. I am from Norway. Exactly. But you can tell who they are by the way they dress. They'll wear like a fucking bright orange shirt. That's true. But not like a cool one. Like a fucking like, where did you get this shirt from? Like, is it in one of those circular racks in Rite Aid? Like they yeah. wear yeah. those type shits and like really high short shorts and fucking backpacks that are like high up. And you're like, that guy's fucking obviously Norwegian. Yeah. And he's saying that this is the kind of guy that not only would have the bright orange shirt the bright red one the bright purple one the bright fucking green one and different high color backpacks and honestly i think it's fine dude but just know you're gonna have conversations about it especially if you're in america and also you're dressing like a video game i think that the answer is absolutely you can have the same shirt in all every single fucking color and you can only wear that if that's what you want to do i think anybody that thinks that that's not a good thing is that that person is so fucking annoying. Yeah, it's wear, annoying. Wear, wear, wear it even in the same color. It's like Ernest. Ernest goes to jail. Ernest yeah. goes to camp. Yeah. Fucking, he had, remember when he would go through his clothes? He oh, always yeah. had the same Ronald fucking McDonald thing. Ronald McDonald too. Yeah, yeah, yep. well, yeah. Mr. Rogers would wear the same thing mostly. Would he really? I don't know. Oh, you made that up. Uh, yeah, I kind of did. fully but just made that up. Mr. Rogers would wear a lot of stuff that was just like an Argyle sweater or something or like a fucking blue V-neck. Um, and yeah. basically- I mean, that doesn't this, count. You're the Norwegian Mr. Rogers. <laughs> uh. He's Norwegian Ernest, straight up. If you want to be Norwegian Ernest, do it. But yeah, dude, if they're different colors, of course, yes. Hey, Van. <laughs> hey, Van. We scared stupid today, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Hey, we at the beach today, yeah? Ernest at the beach, yeah? Give me my high backpack. Sexiest oh, man alive. Yeah. So sexy. Uh, we got to start it over. Uh, we got to start it over. He's too sexy. Yeah, got to turn around. Wow, worst camera we work. Up. Blair Witch Project. <laughs> All right, hey, uh, Chrissy and uh, Matt. Wow. Uh, so I have a question. So my friend, uh, Condescending. Lids, or my girlfriend, friend girl, right there, she does not like uh, the long hair. I asked if my hair long oh. is better long down. She doesn't know herself. In the man bun, and she said I should cut it. Mm. She so doesn't know herself. I like it down, I like it up, whatever. But <laughs> I've been growing out ever since COVID. What do you guys think on if I should either cut it? Is it bad for like relationships? Or what's your just take on a long hair in general? I mean, I'm a, I'm a tall five seven. You a know? tall five seven. So it makes me. I don't know what you think oh. about that, or like what? It, like okay. put all the variables together, and you tell me. I mean, dude, five 
a seven, dude. If you're five seven, you can't be a tall or short five seven. You can only be a five seven. A short five seven. There's only a short five seven. Also, <laughs> the bottom of his hair is fucking three five. <laughs> are arriba, Rico. That's him, dude. Are arriba. Remember that shit? Of course. You're Rico Suave, dude, but you're fucking shorter. His, Rico Suave. His That's hair, how he talks. His hair literally drags on the ground, dude. <laughs> He's fucking Orko. No, no, no. What was the fucking cousin It from, uh, what's it called? Cousin Adam's Family. Dude, Adam's Family. Dude, hey, man. Oh, my God. First of all, this is a travesty, okay? <laughs> I thought you were six foot two. Hey, guy, grow, okay? You're six foot. You're not six foot two. You're five foot seven. I would say if you were six foot two, she doesn't know herself. And here's the deal. She likes the oh. contrarian, a.k.a quote unquote, what we've learned, sucky person in you because you're the guy who does what she doesn't want, which is grow your hair long when she says she likes it not long because that's what's sexy. But all bets are off the table because of what? E five seven, okay? Every guy who's five seven should have short hair, period. It's like wearing a fucking long trench coat. You don't do that, you're five seven. You look shorter. You got to cut your hair. Oh, I see. Okay, well, first of all, I disagree with, oh, just... Top to bottom, everything you're saying. No way, dude. But I agree that he should cut it, and here's why. Mm -hmm. You, he said that's his girlfriend, right? He, uh, he said friend girl. He did not say girlfriend. He said friend girl, which made me think that maybe they're just fucking doinking. Okay, but she's I a cutie though. They're both cuties. I think that oh, he's fucking. I didn't see her really, but he's super sexy. He's five seven, but yeah. Well, okay. Anyway, that's very bad. He should cut his hair because his partner likes it better when his hair's short. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. No. You're gonna hurt your neck. No, you do what you want, and the partner likes you. You're you're breaking down the different things of him. The partner likes him. He is a guy that goes, but I have long hair though, and she goes, all right. She doesn't understand that she doesn't know herself. You have to dig deep, sweetheart. Know yourself and know what attracted you to him in the first place, which was this is a guy who goes against the norms, even though. People who are 5'7 should have fucking absolutely short hair, <laughs> right? But she is attracted to a guy that says, fuck that shit. And that's this guy. No, you can't assume she doesn't know herself. She doesn't know herself. She just wants him to have shorter hair because she thinks he would look better. And she's right. Dude, that hair is awesome. I know, but he, like we said, like he said, he's 5'7. It's bad to be 5'7 and have long hair. You sweep up a lot of lint. Yeah, his hair's dragging on the fucking ground. Yeah, dude, he's going to fucking wash it later on. There's going to be pretzels in it and shit. <laughs> <laughs> was like, why you have pretzels? I was at fucking 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh, man. Now Sweetie, I'm can you hand me my keys? They're too high. <laughs> now I'm fucking sweating. Yeah, dude, me too. Oh. Bro, that guy was very cool till he leaked out he was 5'7". How tall is she? Fucking 4'2"? What's the She's thing with height? Me. What's the thing with you and height? I'm 6'2". I'm a tall drink of water. And thank God, because if but, I wasn't, uh -huh. you know how fucking ugly I'd be if I was 5'8"? Holy fucking shit. But I'm not, though. You'd my friend be always fucked up if you were 5'8. Yeah. My friend always says, Well, by the way, if I was 5'8, I'd be a fucking warlord for real. I'd be a dictator, no doubt. I'd like, be like a Napoleon in, thing? Oh, dude, 100%. Like Napoleon was short as fuck, right? Well, yeah, that's where the whole thing comes from. I get yeah. it, dude. I would have, they wouldn't even call it, they'd call it a fucking Dalia complex from now on. Uh. For real. I would be, if I was short enough to be like, uh, like what, 5'6? Five, if I was 5'7? Five, five, I could maybe eke out, still be a comedian, and be funny. Five six or below, five five, dude. Countries are getting taken over for real. <laughs> I, I'm, I swear to God, I swear to God, I'd make a new country. You could even birth me in America, like you did. You I'd have a whole new country in America, and we'd rise up, dude. You want to explain that a little bit, like why? Because people would have made fun of me. And I'm a tall drink of water, and I always had the fucking gift of gab. Yeah, sure, I agree with you. But if I was short, yeah. I'd also have to fucking be bullied. I'd be bullied, right? Yeah. Growing up in my formative years, even though I was a tall drink of water, if I wasn't, possibly people yeah. say, fuck you and you're short, fuck that. I get saying, the group rallying around me and we take them over. Okay, you're saying so that would have led to you like leading a hostile takeover of countries? Eventually, yeah. Because you were short. I would have started my cult way earlier and it would have been on and popping, honestly. Okay. Well, Can I say something? Yeah. I'm 5'7". Nice, yeah. nice. Bad. Nice. But you don't have hair, so it's kind of better, dude. If you had long hair, we'd have to have a word with dude, you, dude. if you had long hair like that guy, we'd have to that have a would word be with you. unfucking believable I mean, we'd have to have a I fucking... I would like him... 
I would like him more. I would have to have a simple word with you, dude. It would be <laughs> awful. It would be awful. He's five seven, and we love him, dude. But he's he's got he's bald, dude. Yeah. If he had long hair, we'd have to have a simple word with him. We'd have to sit him down what and be like, say? "Look, dude." He'd be like, "You got to cut this shit, man. You're five seven. and he and he might fight it, but he'd know it was better because we fucking love him and we'd fucking coach him into it. Remember when he was fighting, getting rid of all of it? Everyone does that. But that was if you just to extend this one, if you are bald or balding and it's just going and, or it's basically almost gone and you got like the ring or just a little bit mm -hmm. on top, a little bit, whatever. Mm -hmm. Not that you're like trying to hide it, but like you still want to hang on mm -hmm. to the the vestiges mm -hmm. of, of what was once a full head of hair. Get rid of it. Get fucking z of it. It the depends end. on what kind of fucking bald. Uh, if you, the no, ring, it's, it's honestly, dude, z of it. the ring works for some guys, man. Who's it, who's it work for? Guys who wear tweed jackets. Who wears a tweed jacket? Guys with the ring. Oh, well, that's a circular. Fucking it's like argument. a hand in hand, dude. It's like you know. If you got the ring, zzz, you got patches on that. your. But you got patches on your elbows. The ring works for you. Right, you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, I think you're thinking of people like in movies in 1970. If you sit on a desk with one foot on the ground and one foot up a little bit halfway down, the ring works for you. Okay. Bruce okay. Willis had the ring. Has like a little ring sometimes. That was an anomaly, though. That but he got was... rid of it. He's bald as fucking shit now. Also, we I mean, know what happened great. to he him. He looks great. He's got a brain disease, so. I okay, mean... well, that's unconnected. I, I think so, yeah. No, I know so. Okay. Okay. Head was more exposed, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Hi, Matt and Chris. I wow, am dog. a 35 year old, happily married woman. Aww. I have a question for you about friendships. Um, basically my whole life, I've had only close friendships with men. Mm. I haven't really been able to make and sustain relationships or friendships with women. Um, I don't know why. I just always felt more comfortable around men. I could be myself around men. There's like less drama. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stereotyping, but I want to have friends with women and I feel like I'm kind of lacking that in my life and that uh, female perspective and stuff. So basically my question is, why do you think that is? And what would you suggest for me? And shout out to Calvin because he's the best. Aww. Damn, I was going to fucking do a joke and that just warmed me right the fuck up and I already missed the moment. That's so sweet. Okay, well, uh, you got to have female friends. I mean, I know that chicks only really are friends for two years and then they up hating each other, right? Because that's what happens with all chicks. They're like, oh my God, look at my wifey. And then two years later, you'd be like, how's Amanda or whoever? And they'll be like, that bitch fucking stole my man. Fuck her. I ran her over. And you're like, what? Right? But the point is, you don't want to be that white guy in the group of only black friends and you don't have white friends. That guy is just like, you know, hey, what's up, man? And trying to act all like you're fucking like, you know, like one of the guys I could drink. She doesn't seem like one of these girls, but like one of these chicks was like, I can drink dudes under the table. And it's just like, dude, stop trying to prove it that way. I don't think that's what she's doing. But you got to start having more friends than just the one sex, because really what's happening is you're a woman. You got to fucking love yourself more than that. You're a woman. You love women. So fucking be friends with women. You don't want to be that annoying guy that's like, what the fuck? They only hang out with the certain people. But here's the thing. Here's here's where I would. She clearly not doesn't have anything against women. Mm -hmm. what's that, that, happened, that's the thing that I don't really what's understand. What's happened in her life mm -hmm. to up to this point is that through whatever reason, happenstance, whatever the fuck, she's only made good friends who are men. I would definitely not suggest making friends with a woman just because she's a woman. Yeah, that's bad. You don't want to do that. That's just stupid. So I think that just know moving forward that you are maybe would prefer another female friend, but don't like make it happen. That's asking for trouble. Mm. That's like when you're looking for a relationship and you just like need to have yeah. a partner, need to get in a relationship. You just ignore red flags Good when point. you should be absolutely noticing them and s steering clear. Good point. I, I think you probably just made male friends because you happened to make male friends. Maybe she had a good positive male figure in her life when she was growing up, right? Like her dad, maybe her dad was, you know, really a great dad. I, don't, I mean, maybe her mom was a great mom. I don't know, but maybe you just felt more connected to her, your dad or whatever the fuck. Yeah, or, or, or the mailman was really cool or something. Or maybe what I said, you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe it's just what I said. No, but uh, it could be both, right? 
Yeah, it could yeah. be both. So, yeah. so it could be both of what we'll, we'll, we'll be both say. Right, it could be right. That. No, that's true. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think that. Well, I, I mean, she said she wants to be friends with women. She did. Yeah, if she had like a. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 you know what? Ask yourself why. Right. Yeah. Like, why do you want to be friends yeah. with women? Yeah. Is life working or, out? Or why don't you have female friends? If it really is just happenstance, fuck it. It's not a problem. I guess. But like, if there's a reason, then yeah, look at that. But what I've come a, what I've come to learn in this past three minutes is, dude, like, if mm -hmm. your life is happy, and you're chilling, you got a nice, cute dog, you're happily married. Maybe it's just fucking. Maybe that's it. Like, I know a guy. I know a. I know. I keep bringing it back to this, but I know a white guy who, with a bunch of black friends, and that's kind of all he's got. Yeah. Just black friends. And he's happy. And mm -hmm. everyone's like, that guy only hangs out with black guys? And it's like, yeah. But it's like, well, what the fuck? He's happy. Yeah. He, and, yeah. and as a white guy, you feel a little slighted. You're like, but he's even white. He doesn't want to hang out with me. And you're like, maybe that has a problem with me. You know what I mean? But it's okay. deeper. But you know what I'm saying. It's deeper for sure. Yeah. But like. Um, no, I think usually when this is the case, it's there's actually not a deeper thing. It certainly doesn't seem the case for this woman. Mm -hmm. She wants female friends. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I actually don't. I've heard people with complaints like this before. Mm -hmm. Like, why do I have, or I've actually heard people be like, I don't trust that woman. She only has guy friends. I don't mm. know what is up with that. But I don't this, know what the implication is supposed to be. Yeah, it, It's weird to, she seems like a totally nice person. She she could be a fucking crazy lunatic for all we know, of but course. she seems like a sweet person course, yeah. that doesn't fit the type of what she's saying. Do you know what I mean? What is the type? Though? Like, See, I, I don't have even... guy friends, fuck these bitches. Okay, these, well, yeah, you know that's I mean? a problem. Right, yeah. right. She yeah. should say it like that and yeah. then we'd get it more. But, um, <laughs> but no, the fact that she's saying it the way she's saying it makes me think there actually isn't the problem. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Yes, of yeah. course, yes. Yeah. But um, it's also, you could also go back to what I was saying, which it's nice to not have uh, female friends because if you're a female with female friend with a female friend, basically what you're doing is gifting yourself an enemy in two years. So next. <laughs> <laughs> You're gifting yourself an enemy in two years. Okay. Last one. Mm -hmm. Great. What up, Matt? What Our up, heart. Chris? Arch criminal. Um, I need some advice on how to not take things so personally. So the guy Sometimes that do people that. make comments or joke, um, even my friends and stuff. And I can find myself like becoming uh, offended in my head and mm. thinking of things like, well, they shouldn't have said that because mm. I oh. could say this or mm. whatever. Um, and I just feel like it's an issue I kind of need to work on. And I feel like you boys are the people to come to mm. to solve this issue. So let me know some advice on how to not take things so personal. Peace. Okay, that's a great question. And I love that he's that he's it cuts deep. Aware of of this and, and thinking but here's the thing. There's like a fine line between when it comes to taking things personally, as he's saying it. There's a fine line between people attacking you or being shitty or being mean or actually negging you and just either joking all in good fun didn't mean anything by it and and so i think for the former the things that fall into that bucket you can take that shit personally and and consider either not being friends with that person not having that person around whatever the fuck but about the things that i'm assuming he means which are generally they didn't mean any harm by it yeah they're just fucking around whatever this or that right yeah uh I think that I don't know, dude. I mean, I'm I'm not that bad at at, at this. I don't take shit that personally when I know someone's fucking around. I have a, a uh, somebody told me a saying. Um, it's something like other people's opinions of me aren't my business. Yeah, and that's that kind of like struck a chord with me uh, because, like, I mean, people say awful shit about celebrities online. People say awful shit about me online, and like, you know, I. It, it it honestly like I know I give this um, image of this guy who like nothing bothers me and shit, but like it does, dude. Like it fucking really bothers me, you know. Um, and it hurts, and it fucking like I get in my head about it and shit. And like, so I want to be like shrug it off, uh, and and keep moving, um, which is good advice, but also. I get when it really cuts deep, you know, because sometimes the same comment made in a and you're in a different mood could fuck you up mm. and one day and not the next day, mm -hmm. you know. So that goes back to, um, you know, you're fifty percent of somebody saying something to you because somebody said something. That's fifty percent of it, and then you taking it. Mm. is another 50%, right? You only own 50% of what you even say in this world. But 
all you can do is here's something I do when when that shit gets to me, whether it's comments in person that somebody says like, um, you know, like I remember one one time one guy came up to me and he was like, hey, are you that guy from that show? And I said, yeah, I won't say the show, but he was like, and he's like, yeah, that show fucking sucks. Mm. And um, what a guy. Yeah, it was fucking awful. And I got mad, you know, and I realized I was mad because um, it hurt my fucking feelings, dude. And I knew he probably didn't even watch the show. He was just being an asshole. Mm -hmm. um, and back then, I don't. I did not have the tools that I do now when people say stuff like, I mean, that something that rude has not happened in a very long time, but it might happen again. And certainly online, way worse shit happens. I mean, people fucking say, I'm going to cut your fucking head off and shit. Mm. It's awful. But, mm. you know, look, the, the only thing that you can do is... When to for me, when something like that happens, I immediately think of the stuff that I'm grateful for, like, because uh, that's that helps me. Like, I think of like I think of Calvin, I think of you, I think of you know my family, and the people who I have that are real friends that support me, my fiance and shit like that, and the fans, man, like the people that show up to my shows and like, it just it helps. It helps to just immediately put yourself into a different mind state, and that coupled with. What somebody else thinks of you is not your business. Um, you know, you can get yourself out of some fucking really dark times. I have. Yeah. So, you know, it seems like you're doing okay. You do look like a fucking straight up convict. Yeah, but he's a straight up arch criminal. Yeah, for His sure. hair, the yeah. long sleeve mm -hmm. shirt, the car heart, oh, here, the chains. Well, I think that one thing is that, that I've actually, for some reason, I feel like I stumbled upon this and it's something that I always keep in mind that has actually really helped me and it's when someone says something shitty about you to you, they're trying to upset you. Mm. And so if someone's trying to upset you by telling you something about you, mm -hmm. take that for exactly what it is. They're to tooling around in their head for something to make you mad. Don't give them what they want, first mm -hmm. of all. And second of all, if they're trying to make you mad, they're probably reaching for it anyway. It might not even be fucking true. Mm. They're probably just doing it to specifically to upset you. Mm -hmm. You can't be giving these motherfuckers what they want. Second of all, act like you didn't fucking hear it. You'll be surprised at how quickly you fucking forget it. It doesn't fuck. And then also, who the fucking fuck cares what bullshit somebody else has to say about you? I don't even care what that guy's saying. If you think it's fucking true fucking fine but chances are you only think it's true because somebody some asshole like that has said it to you then or before fuck uh, that shit yeah I life's think, too short we're all gonna die yeah well not i mean not everyone has died yet but we're um, all gonna die though not sure there's still people alive no they're gonna die you jesus don't, christ don't make that face okay <laughs> um you could also if somebody says something shitty about you you can just be like nah -uh, that's you you could do that. Yeah. And then do a spin move and then fuck <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Yeah, so that's, I don't know, man. I feel you though, dude. The way he was talking about it made me feel for him. Like, I feel bad, you know? And I don't know why he's in a fucking makeup trailer, but he was. And, <laughs> you know, um, and it's fine. Uh, and get a different hair style now. No way, and, dude. The hair was killing It was this shit, but what it, are we dude. in the fucking 80s, dude? Yeah. You, a fucking extra in Red Dawn? No, you're not, dude. He's owning the arch criminal look he is, real well. It's true. It's true. And now that it's 2022, you can kind of get away with what whatever he but he is white so he might want to fucking change it up a little bit he looks like an arch criminal a smooth criminal we like him don't take it personally life's too short we're all gonna fucking die and you know what Not the person that yet. said it to you that is probably that has said something that is gonna that you took offense to or you took to personally it's probably gonna die a miserable fucking death yeah so don't sweat him and he might even die first you can do that if somebody says something shitty to you you'd be like man you probably die before me <laughs> do a spin move and fucking or moonwalk out dude you know all right how ill that would be especially with that hair we're gonna have <laughs> that's actually true yep but we're gonna have an intervention with you about the spin move thing because i don't know what's going on with you but it's all you think about and it's becoming a real problem it's getting in the way of our show of no. the advice you give. Okay. And pretty soon it's going to start leaking into your actual life. You're going to start doing spin moves on people. I mean, I've done them. You've done a spin move? Mm-hmm. In like a football game? I did it once when a guy, uh, I held the door op open for a guy and then he didn't say thank you. And what'd you do? I did a spin move and I said, held it open for you. No. Yeah, I did. Really? You're my hero then. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking It fucking incredible. pissed me off. Yeah, well, that's, how'd you feel after you did it though? Uh, It was so much like... Freeing. emotion and like it was everything it was freeing it was rage it was happiness i mean it was uh, uh, unreal so we've stumbled upon something the one time a spin move is a good idea next time somebody says something that you take personal offense to snap 
turn your legs, do a fucking spin move and say. Well, I said held it open for you. What should he say? Oh, him. Um, You're going to die sooner than me. Yeah. Spin move. You'll probably die before me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would, you'd instantly win that interaction. Dude, I just- And you leave thinking about that, not what the motherfucker said to piss you off. Yeah, right, right, right. I, I, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. I literally think, I think that holding a door open for somebody, if somebody doesn't say thank you or something, it's the rudest thing. And it's also harder to not say I something to somebody more. than to just be like that. Because you're fighting the urge. Yeah, It's like, I'm looking at you opening the door. You're fighting the urge. You look at me and you fight the urge to say something. Isn't it crazy? And then you just say, nah, and you don't do it. You don't say shit, you walk out. Isn't it crazy? Yes. Isn't it crazy? There's this neighbor that since I've moved, I have, I've had this like Gonna end growing uh, hatred for. Gonna end and I tears. try not to hate him, but I just, you know what? I just do. He listens. And I hope he does. And I walk, uh, when I walk my dog, I see him and like- I'm, A Paul always, Simon song. I'm always like weighing whether I should fucking say, so, say hi or whatever, because he's mm -hmm. such a dick. He probably won't say hi back to me, mm -hmm. but he's like a car guy. And he's like working on a car okay, in his so, garage. Oh, wow. And I happened to walk Jesus by Christ. when he was working on it. And I actually said, uh, and we actually locked eyes and said hey to each other. So I know he saw me. Yeah. And, I, and I, we we're walking by and I said, oh, man, this one's cool. I can't wait to see this one. He didn't say anything. That, yeah, that's, that's really odd. That's yeah, so odd. Like how? You, I would do so many fucking spin moves. Yeah, you would have just been spinning down the street. Dude, it would have got like a leash all so caught up dizzy. on your legs. And <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just don't understand when somebody... You you should have stopped and said, I said, I can't wait to see this one when it's done. No, I said... I, you know what I actually said? What? I said, oh... Just like that? I was walking the whole time, but I said it. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much a spin move. Yeah. Dude, I don't understand that shit. I don't it's understand weird. that it's, shit. It's really weird, man. It's like, don't be actively rude for no reason yeah you're trying to make the world worse when you do that you're trying trying mm. not just doing it but trying actively trying to make the world a worse place interesting you're trying to make the world a worse more miserable place than it already is and let me tell you something it's bad and miserable as it is wow yeah so dark yeah and then on such a dark note but also do you think that they know they're doing that they're trying to I think it's their past that got all caught up to. First of all, who is this guy that lives next to you? He's like a fucking, what's that guy in uh, the the Chris, uh, who's that actor? Uh, he really There's fucking There's a lot good. of them, so you got to narrow Chris it down. Chris fucking, the Co older one. Cooper, Chris Cooper? Chris Cooper, he's like a Chris Cooper character. Yeah, it's like Chris Cooper in American Beauty, right? Okay, the guy yeah, who hates sure. gay yeah, guys. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking yeah. of it. Called me out, so, but I mean, played many characters like that, but okay, so, sure. Uh, but yeah, his, his, his wife's weird too. Yeah, of Dude, course she is. When she walks... Her dogs, uh -huh. all of which are fucking mean as hell. My dogs, of course are, they are. My dogs just trotting by all quiet, which she never really is, but she is around these dogs because they're all like rawr, rawr, going fucking crazy. Oh, so crazy. they talk more than the people then. Yeah, but then she talks to her dogs, and I can hear her talking to her dog all the way down. She's like, "We don't do that, you know. Be nicer, be nicer. Ooh, shush, shush, shush." And I'm like, "Is she doing this for me? Yeah. Or like, does she think she's getting to her dog?" Also, talk to your husband. Say that to your she husband. wears three masks outside. Cough in her face. Out fucking side. Cough in her face. On a quiet street. Where there's nobody. That's yeah. That's unbelievable. Does the guy do it? No. Well, then she's gonna get it anyway, if she's gonna get it. I mean, if he is, he's his mouth. He's in his fucking house with his mouth open, then she's fucking gonna get it. She's not in her house with three masks on. He's this not, is insane, dude. You can't get COVID outside when you're walking alone. There's wind. I, I talk know, about this dude, in my act, but I like, know. dude, come see me, Phoenix, April thirtieth. But wow. it's like chrisley.com. But it's like so wow. annoying that fucking people do this. They they got their priorities are so mixed up, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's walking her dog trying to correct her dog barking, yeah. wearing three masks, yeah. and letting her husband be piece of shit. Yeah. Dude, all of these things are backwards. Get your priority, get your priorities activated. Yeah. Talk to your husband, stop trying to correct your dogs from barking, yeah. and take off at least two yeah. masks. Absolutely. Dude, it's so fucking whack he also, people are crazy he also had uh he's also not only a car guy but he's like one of those older guys who like riffs at, at night sometimes on his guitar and he's got an amp and everything this guy's the most annoying guy in the world listen to this though it, it gets way worse than that for three hours one night late from like 10 to 1 or maybe like 9 to midnight i i this is gonna sound not true but i promise you it's 100 true without any kind of any added bullshit he sprouts wings. he just did this he just did the part of the bon jovi song that goes like this won't it 
dead or alive. And he did the guitar part and that and saying that and that's and he, it. And he sings it? Yeah, and he oh. sings it in just that part though. Dude, this podcast should have only been about that moment. You, I yeah. can't believe you're bringing it out now. We'll dude. do a whole episode about he it. He goes, won't hell, dead. What's the guitar part of it? I don't, I don't know. You don't even know when you heard it so much. Chris, no, we it? can't play it. So, um, because of the fucking monetization. But fucking won't hell. Is he good at it at least? Fuck no. Not even a little bit, but neither is Bon Jovi, to Dude, be fair. No, actually, nothing could be less, nothing could be more annoying, to be honest. Yeah. Because yeah. if you think about it, like think of something more annoying. Like what's more annoying? He fucking comes up to your driveway, knocks on your door, you open it up and his cock's out and he goes, my cock. And then fucking walks back. That would be back. way less annoying. Way less amazing. Because you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I would but love that. You can't think of anything more annoying. No, 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 no. no. Maybe if he fucking... <laughs> You know what I mean? Maybe yeah, doing right. that for fucking 35 minutes at a time. <laughs> but but he was doing that for three hours. Three hours. And yeah. not talking to you when you do talk. Yeah, I know. Isn't that fucking wild? Let's yeah. go beat this guy up right yeah. now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's, we should we wrap up the episode? Uh, we should wrap up the episode. Uh, somebody's getting about to get handled after yeah. this episode, yeah, dude. Put hands um, on him. Yep. Um, so you guys, thanks. April 30th, I'll be in uh, phoenixcrystalia.com. And uh, this was a great episode. Uh, if I don't say so myself, if I do say so myself, uh, give your advice to the people in the comments and we'll reply to the fucking best ones uh, below here. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, make friends in the comments. And also... Uh, These were good ones this fucking week. Keep ask a question. Shit in. Yeah. Also, ask a question. Uh, go to... What is the thing? No, the link's below. The link's below. The link's below. And you can go, go to the link and then send in a video. And uh, we like the juicy ones. These are fucking. These were good ones today, for real. There were good Fuck ones. Yeah, but, but that's because we're getting good ones now. Because the you know the show's getting People bigger getting and it. bigger, dude. People are getting it. The show's getting bigger and bigger. It's remaining at the top of the charts, yeah, dude. It is. It is. And honestly, it just keeps on doubling until they kill us. <laughs> and um, so I think that uh, ask a question, and that's it. Right? Uh, you think that ask a question, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ask a fucking question, get a great fucking answer. We're ready for more. We'll okay, see you guys. next week. Lifeline.